Hello everybody, welcome to one of the final matches of the Blood Bowl Super League regular season. We've got Hiru and his Dwarves versus Sol and his Skaven. Um, Sol has been eliminated from the competition but is playing for pride. Hiru requires a win to qualify from the group as he will have less wins than the other guys if he draws. So Hiru, only a win is good for Hiru here. A draw is no good for him. And uh, in the booth we have... Dimmy G and Elliot, hello guys. Oh, hello everybody. Have you got an amazing engagement question for us, Dimmy? Uh, I I I, I let Elliot pick up the uh, question for this episode. Oh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's your favourite chocolate bar? Oh, okay. that's a question. Um, Boost. Whisper, whisper. Do you know what? It used to be a Mars bar when I was young. And nowadays, it's just a plain dairy milk, honestly. Mm. I, uh, plain I, know how, I know how bad that sounds and how boring it sounds, but I, <laughs> I do love a dairy milk. <laughs> Yeah. It's interesting. I was, I was the same. I was I was all about Mars bars, and then um, yeah, honestly, I, I, I just I just started eating boosts, and I haven't eaten boosts for like a decade. Oh, I did but, have to kick a <laughs> But if I was, oh no, oh god, I'm an idiot. White Twix, obviously. I was like, I haven't eaten chocolate bars for ages, but I've eaten White Twixes. We have oh, White Twixes. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. White Twix. It, it, in undisputed champ, White Twix. White Twix is the usage of, of chocolate bars. It is absolutely the greatest of all time. Oh, my God. You know, I had a Yorkie, uh, yes, not yesterday, Tuesday. I actually messaged Hancock about it. And uh, it wasn't as good as I remember when I, oh, I used to wow. love them when I was a kid. <gasps> you got a touchback. Yeah, yeah, I loved Yorkies as well. And look at that. That was nearly a killer kick, Great. right? Yeah. If it had been one of these five it, or, or one of these nine, it would have been horrendous. But the touchback is just unbelievably good for him. Uh, like, that's that's crazy, isn't it? The difference between a corner kick or a, or a touchback is absolutely massive. Yep. Huge sigh of relief for Hiru. Because of Frenzy. Yeah, very nice. And uh, yeah, another thing to point out: this is the fastest dwarf team you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, max speed dwarves, isn't it? To full full positionals. Yeah. Very impressive. And they're going to have the one run on the pitch. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. okay. There but is the one team on the is the bench. fastest. The, the team is the. But fastest. I mean, I'm just saying it's weird that he only has one run on the pitch. You'd think that you'd you'd play well, the second one off on his strike. Yeah, 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 I yeah. tend or to instead play of the second off. slayer. Mm. I guess he wants to stay because of the right ogre, right? I don't know. Just even in addition, because like you don't need that much tackle, right? I know, I know they've got gutter runners, but you don't need that much tackle, uh, whereas you need a lot of speed, right, if, if things go wrong. Um, but then I guess maybe you need tackle if it goes wrong as well. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's not that crazy. Only one mean, rack gone, so it's not too bad for Sol. Yeah. It's got a blitz left, yeah. I guess it's going to blitz the line right on the left here. Oof. Oof. Yeah, incredible. That touchback. What a difference. What a difference to the drive that makes, eh? Yeah, it's, it is pretty huge, let's say. And the fact that he's now on the halfway line, like, this is... And it's stabilised as well. Instant stabilisation, <laughs> which is definitely the scariest stage of a drive for dwarves is turn one and two normally right yeah oh yeah and if it if it's back there like especially for orcs right because you've got a movement five like at least his runner could have maybe like picked it up still but when you've got orcs and mr throw can't even get there it's an absolute oh my nightmare. god yeah. but yeah you know you'd have been turn one back here turn two up here turn three up here turn he's probably turned four there and that's if he gets there unmolested and obviously there could have been loads of rats swarming him like uh like olivia did with andy so yeah, that was yeah. Oh, that was a, he definitely got away with that. Is he going for the troll start? No, he's going for the Ooh, flip me. Ooh. This is rowdy, isn't it? It's not even a two into three. Oh it's my god. It's got jugs. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. It's got jugs. <laughs> mm. I think that Rowdy might be dead next turn. <laughs> He's gonna have to stick that line. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, you can get him in there. 
Nice. I mean, it's still a dauntless. The problem with that is it exposes a gut runner unless he moves the gut runner and completely seeds this half of the pitch. Uh, or you can dodge out the line off the floor. Hmm. But does he does he move his gutter over first? Yeah, yeah. it does <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I, it's not safe I, though if this dodge fails. Uh, I would have moved further. I would. Ah, oh, disgusting. You have one on the floor. Yeah, yeah. You ain't getting fouled. I, I really hate it. Like, it's funny, right? Because Skaven have the whole thing of, you know, if you fail a pick up, they just win because they pick it up with gut runs and everything. It's amazing how, like, how much payoff they get from their three plus dodges. I feel like they get more payoff than any other team from their three plus dodges. Like, basically, because they have to make them, I guess, right? But, like, yeah. when when they just make the three pluses, it's, like, insane. They're just they're so good. And they, well, it's a, they're fast as well, so when you're dodging, you've got movement 7, mm. 6 or 5 or whatever. Yeah, really good. Really good when they make the dodges. I they're wonder if he's going to go for this blitz on the right go. It's a bit of a twat magnet, isn't it, mate? I mean, it's just so... Like, he's the only... Like, he's such a massive threat to this dwarf team, like, whereas <laughs> nobody else is at all. Like, it's... And the one turn as well. I think he'll push up and take the space in it. Yeah, so it's probably doing. the correct thing, yeah, but it's tempting as hell just to twat the rogue right mm. with mighty blow. It is. And like you say, I mean, if he's watched any of Soul's other games <laughs> in this competition, <laughs> you could blame him for hitting the rogue right because there's a 99% chance he will stay out for the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh my god, that could have been the rogue. Right only a stun. Oh, he, he, did he use the mighty blow? Does he touch the air? Uh, does he touch the gutter or no? It doesn't seem worth it, right? Because he'll just get two assists in and hit you, so he probably... He what? Does he touch the uh, gutter runner? Oh, you mean base him? <laughs> no, touch him. Look, he could have gone three squares and then touched him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of pointless, right? He'd just bring in the assists and beat him off. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to uphill the Rogue. He could, yeah, it hasn't got Mighty Blow right on the uphill. The problem is, then you, if you don't follow him, you freed him up, so it probably doesn't hit. It probably doesn't hit him because you'd really want to like. And if you follow up, then you're giving him you're giving him a three D, right? So like, mm. and if you stand this guy up, you're getting surfed. So there's really no way of of doing it. So he probably just what he could try is dodge this guy out. And base him and then dodge him away. But I mean, that's kind of ludicrous, so I'll probably just leave it all. I love the fact that Sol used 20 seconds of his time bank already. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know how. Like, like honestly, if we had like a snippet of what was going on in his brain, I bet none of it is Blood Bowl related. <laughs> so he's just completely thinking about so many different things yeah. all at once, none of them are the game. And it, yeah. and I mean, it's probably, hard to give a fuck, to be fair, with this yeah, person, right? He, he probably snaps back to reality every second. It's, oh, crap, I'm playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, honestly, I'm, uh, Elliot here with the with the undersell. Yeah, yes, Sol has been limited, so he's got nothing to play for technically. But, you know, he just he likes Blood Bowl, right? And he's a student of Blood Bowl. And honestly, like, you know, it sounds stupid, but it's true, honestly. Like, he wants to, you know, he wants to he wants to play the best of the best, and he's just... Oh, really? sees it all as an yeah. opportunity and stuff so he you know he's like it's not is you know he really he really does give a fuck more than most people like not just in this specific instance just in general i think he gives more of a fuck than most people do about blood bowl and honestly so. like this like this sort of competition is like if you want to get better at blood bowl or like sharpen your tools or whatever like this is the best kind of sparring ever where you're playing six or five competitive games events some of the most competitive players and yeah like some of them are going to be dieting like there's not going to be much you can do but like you're going to get much more value out of playing games like this regularly than random ladder games for sure yep the problem is you just can't get the frequency isn't it that's the thing like yeah the games you can play you can you know you can just put you can play yeah it's like <laughs> 17 games a day if you want to yeah yeah 100 in a week or something like that did all played yeah. once <laughs> um, but yeah for, for quality this is yeah absolutely unrivaled yep and like oh. it's it's fairer as well because of the the res so it's like you're not gonna 
Yeah, um, yeah. There's still a lot of luck involved, obviously, with like Law TV, Blood Bowl, but at least at least they're even games, right? With the tiering. Yeah, and, exactly. And like, stuff, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not like randomly spinning 400 TV down versus Killer Chaos, and you're like, oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Just what I need. 420 TV down, so you don't get so you don't get Morg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the good runner is blitzable. Oh, I well, saw these. I think you blitzed this guy. That's interesting. He went back to hit him. Yeah. I don't like this at all. I would have been pushing forward on onto the gutters here. Oh my god. Oh my scores. god. That oh. is not the dice we're looking for. He can't eat that. I mean, he can. He's, he's got. He's got a cage, right? He's got a no, cage. He could eat he it. Cannot, he cannot eat that. He would just lose all momentum. Oh, I really don't like that. <laughs> the dwarves are scared of the tackle, right? Exactly. The tackle is is a completely <laughs> dead skill in this. I match. thought that was hilarious, but <laughs> it was. Why is he hitting the one piece that doesn't? Yeah. There's a like a gutter runner with strip ball that he could have potentially based or something. Yeah, the the strip is like half dead, right? Because it's all it's only good if he loses it off the run in the first place. So, the, but obviously the wrestle is very relevant. But uh, the the strip is half dead. The tackle's completely dead. Um, so I mean that's a bit that's a bit tough for Saul. That, you know, some of his like his stacking is almost gone, right? He's it's almost like two skills the strip ball because he's he's paid for the stacking, so he's almost got three dead skills. But obviously, if he does pop it off the runner, then all of a sudden the strip ball becomes kind of amazing. Then I re I remember this point in the game of Hero versus Olivier, thinking this game is completely over and the dwarf is going to completely walk it. And then all of a sudden, like five turns later, it almost felt the other way. <laughs> <laughs> the rats are gonna win. Yeah, I mean, it, oh wow! Oh my oh. God! He's really Soul, oh. Soul's rat ogre Reliable dead. Big guy. Yeah. <laughs> Soul's rat ogre is something else, honestly. It's so he's so unlucky. He uh, can uh, surf this guy, can't he? he? Can he can chain his? Uh, he can chain his. You can chain him two squares forward and get a surf. He didn't die though. He didn't die. But yeah, he can like literally just walk through now. I don't think he surfs that guy. I think he oh, just. I think he does. You think so? Yeah, yeah. He's in a good spot afterwards. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! What the flip is going on? I would have tried to make that a three D. I know it's easy to say that now. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have been wanting to make that a 3D. One, two, three. Come here. This is a. Uh... One reroll. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, he's uh, got to like. Whoop. Gesundheit, Elliot. Gesundheit? He's been on the beers all day, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, hey. He can GFI off the off the uh, he can GFI off the sideline, and if he fails, it's okay, right? So he can just do all of his other safe moves first, and then he can uh, and then he can GFI after the blitz. He does touch this gutter, but not with tackle. Yeah, those dwarfs look like suspiciously the wrong way round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He did a little bit. Doesn't oh my surf. god. Like every surf I've ever attempted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he might get the surf. Yep, he gets the surf. Yeah, good surf, good surf. <laughs> that, that is not like any surf I've ever <laughs> <laughs> So no, no apple for Sol. He just went 13 players, benched a gutter and a thrower, so he's got a chance at the one turn, whatever happens. <laughs> like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad. The guard can make it a little bit confusing, but it's not. I think the tackle's more of a problem than the guard's. Yeah, it's going to be tricky, but I mean, he'll have three rerolls for it, probably, so. Well, he that used one on the bloody double skulls, didn't he? He did, yeah. But he'll have three rerolls for it, maybe. Oh, because of the leader. Mm. <laughs> the old save the leader for the one turn glorious. But it's, it's the thrower, right? You just need the thrower. You, you need. Yeah. You, know, you need the two plus, plus pass. Passing, mm. Yeah. If it's a deep, if it's a deep kick, it becomes a problem even for gutter runners. Yeah. 
Honestly, two plus passing, right? As a knob coach, <laughs> it just infuriates me. Two plus passing. As a knob coach. Well, mate, like it's just unbelievable how bad their thrower is in comparison to ninety percent of throwers in the game. Like, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. It's pretty terrible. Is it got running pass? Is that what? Running pass, <laughs> and it doesn't. It doesn't have short hands, and it has three plus passing. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's literally like horrendous. I think it's only the the Chaos Pact thrower that's just as bad. Oh yeah, safe pair of hands he's got, hasn't he? But but it has access to mutations at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like at least you can get extra arm or whatever it is. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty nice. Not a bad turn from Silver. Yeah, he's Not separated him from the guards. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really, I don't really love Hiru's drive so far. I mean, Hiru can just come back to here. Like that's probably <coughs> what he should do. Is just come One, back to two, here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, he's got to hit that right. Oh, oh my god, god, another double skull! Oh wow! He's out of rerolls. He is. He's out of rerolls. Flip me. This is not looking good for Hero. Now it's looking absolutely fine. Hey, <laughs> 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 Oh my god, that was brilliant, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what a play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh. Jesus. It doesn't oh, get a dub score. <laughs> I mean, it's true, he did look in a bit of a mess as yeah. he moved the ball over to the back slightly. <laughs> It being true is what made it so funny. <laughs> oh man! I mean, oh. He's still in trouble, right? Three turns of no reroll. Mm, you know, yeah. Soul can yeah. make him roll some dice, and he can fail them dice. Like it's really not hard for Soul. And even just the two D blocks, he's what rolled two or three dub skulls already. It's crazy. Maybe he should have eaten that first one. It would have killed all. Yeah, them, but... I mean, it, it, it's hard to you know. To, you know, it's, he's been a lucky since, obviously, hasn't he? Yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's tough. Like with three, you're thinking, okay, I can, yeah, I can spunk one a bit here, and I've got two left. Yeah. Oh my god, sick as egg. That's hilarious. <laughs> Delayed reaction, but that is hilarious. Sick. <laughs> Played a game earlier where my opponent tried three fouls and got sent off for all of them, and the second half kickoff event was get the ref. <laughs> That's great. Isn't it? In your face. What's <laughs> oh, he going to surf him? No. Two into two into uh, one. He no, might, he's he not. Might. No, he's not. No, he's electing to have any defence at all instead. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Elliot is is if, if anybody in on the planet is uh, a fan of not having any defence at all, it's uh, Elliot. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I would have surfed that dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the one turn easy. Well, he's got a bench. Obviously. Yeah, he's got a bench and an apple, hasn't he? But, um... Yeah, I would really have surfed that dwarf. Wow. Because I mean, you would have already if, been if, lying if, down. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have never have been in this position. Yeah, all of my bats would be on the floor at the moment. But, uh, <gasps> but if I had not been, then it's like, I mean, you can stop this right with W will. Has he got to hit the right? Wait, no, he doesn't uh, have to hit no, the. No, no, not standing. No. Oh my god! Imagine if he just. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine if he just killed his pro and got a runner. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's vampires. Yeah, vampires can bite prone, right? St still. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Can't kill them though. Yeah. No, I, I knew no, they're, vamps could. They're only really badly hurt now, aren't they? If it. They were always, they're always only badly hurt. Well, not oh, always, not hit? always. Oh, okay, well, fine, fine. Living Rubik 4, you could kill them. Wait, oh, wait, I thought wait, you meant wait. Animal Savagery Vampires. Um, um, there you go. 
Ah, right. No, no, no. Bloodlust, didn't, when it first came out, you right. could kill them. Oh, interesting. And then people mm. were like, this is absolutely fucking shit. So they were like, uh, okay, we'll cap it at Badly Hurt. <laughs> Which is uh, quite reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, like, who gives a fuck about Thor's at the end of the day? Like, kill, kill, them, kill them all day long. But I guess it's like, you'd have to spend a lot of money to keep placing them all the time. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they should go you know, like... Maybe not actually. Man, this can be a really good what? turn, but he sure needs to knock all the dub skull. <laughs> animal savagery at Badly Hurt, but then that No, like it's far too cool. entertaining when Matt yeah. goes and kill people. And then it's not animal oh savagery, God. is it? Then it's just like animal yeah. inconvenience. <laughs> animal inconvenience. <laughs> this, this would normally be for an hero because all he's got to do is bits of the lime rat in the yeah. and he can move through but he's going to roll the double skulls yeah Jimmy just said that yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah it's, uh, pretty brutal and he's making another 2d before that like it's it's tough because he can't get anybody through without dice rolls he just can't yeah. I, he could have moved this Ooh, guy one two I thought three, he was going to free that troll slayer yeah so did I now he could make it a 3D. Well, he could make this one a 3D. Yeah. Doesn't make it a 3D. Oh. I would have made that a 3D, honestly. Um, making it a 3D is pretty good, right? Because then you can actually. No, oh, no, you actually. No, you couldn't can't move get through. Can't get no, through. No, you'd have to pow. You'd have to. You'd have to roll a pow. But if you roll the pow, then you could get through, without further blocks, right? So because oh, you know see, if you could have yeah. powered and not followed. Oh. Oh, and yeah, then yeah, the, yeah, this guy could have moved, and you would have three players through, and the ball would have gone through. So you you could have got through there on a three D, whereas now he gets through without having to blitz this lineman. Which it looks like he's going to do anyway. But I mean, he's made two hits first anyway, so like, it's, yeah, it's, exactly. <laughs> so a whole load of rats on the floor right there. It's a big old pile of rats. Mm. Yeah, you want to keep somebody there holding them. Rather than just caging, right? You you want to you want to keep maybe the troll slayer holding them all. This isn't exactly where I thought the ball would be. I thought it'd be a bit more central. Yeah. I guess he just wants to get rid of away from those gut runners, but but they got runners. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have I would have gone more central, but I'm not surprised to see it if that makes sense. But yeah, if, oh, if you, it, just if he was two over, right, then this guy could have gone four and then you could have had a full cage. And then you could have had somebody <clears> in there, you could have blitzed this guy, so you'd have had a full cage and it would have been screened. Uh, he's, 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 he's got, got that guy, I didn't, I didn't realise that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He can just yeah. walk off because he's got no tackles on. Yeah. Yeah. And he can still, he hasn't moved this guy, maybe he should have moved this no, guy No, I only had to move that guy in first, yeah. yeah. Whoa, close. I saw the skulls then. <laughs> Wait, is it three dubs already, is that? Yeah, I think so. It's at least two. I think it's three. And then so I dubs on the rat ogre, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, the one guy, he couldn't re-roll it. <laughs> and he won, in, he won in nine to the first one, but uh, Juggernaut sorted him out. Yeah. And uh, there's Jimmy moaning about pushes. <laughs> yeah, true. True. I mean, it's hard, man. You know, like, the stakes were high, right? And I had to... You know, like I was aware that I had to fucking get penetration, and it's not easy versus somebody who's defending well. And then you know when they're block, you know when you just push, 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 and they pow, pow, pow. It's how many how many touchdowns did Diamond concede in the whole two five games? Oh, he did concede two. Yeah. Who did he concede them to? Uh, Call Troop and Strider. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, so he's going for the dodge. I quite like this. <coughs> Has he got the best defense in the BBSL then? Uh, this season, yeah, yeah, by by a mile actually. By a mile, wow. Yeah. Everyone else has conceded at least four. Four in five, yeah, that's pretty mad. So. Mm. In history, um, we had. PC conceded one in six games. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. He only scored four. <laughs> what? He won three games. He just won three games like 1-1. One, one. Drew a game 
nil nil and drew a game one. No, he lost the game one nil. He lost the game one nil. So he drew two. He lost the game. So he lost the game one nil. Drew two nil nil, and then like won one nil, one nil, and two nil. Amazing. Proper dwarf play that in here. <laughs> Undisputed king of the dwarves. PC. <laughs> <laughs> Refusing to score or be scored on. Wow. All right, luckily, luckily, Sol should have enough time in his time bank for the uh, <laughs> one turner. Yeah. Only just. Honestly, this was pretty lucky for for Hiru for this to be that easy because that it's so scary, yeah, isn't it? it losing losing your rerolls yeah. like that. that was... Yeah, after, after dubs, after all the skulls. Yeah. yeah, it was really touch and go for a second. You got to hit the defenseless one, haven't you? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. But this one's got tackles. We could have geified and hit hit with tackle, but he's not. Maybe oh, he should have. He oh, oh. Is it worth it? Is it worth a two plus to hit with tackle? Like it's it's more obviously more chance of knocking down, but then you can hit more obviously much chance of hitting your own player, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unsure whether it's worth it or not. Unsure. I mean, the chance of hurting your own player is extremely low. And you got an apo. It is. Yeah, and he got a bench. Yeah, yeah, okay. He should have he should have GFI'd then, shouldn't he? I mean maybe, like obviously you have to consider how much value is in the push, right? Because like this is a pretty good position now, right, with the gutters kind of screened a bit. True, oh true. Oh my god, true. this right ogre. But again, I wouldn't have been very so scared of Sol doing anything. Oh he's Whoa. got one on the bench. No, the ball is pretty pretty safe to be fair, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Sol was just trying to blitz with a roger to for damage, so Yeah. That on his own up. rats. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think he's done better without the rogue on the pitch. I mean, he's had a lot of practice without the rogue on the pitch. It's just been, it's been removed. I think, I think the first most people team. do better without a rogue on the pitch. To be fair. Yep. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. Without a rogue on the roster, the, it is good for the one turn, though, isn't it? So, so here we go. Now it's the rogue's time to shine. So that was a, mm. a you know, completely. I, it wasn't a completely uneventful, but it was a kind of a standard drive for the uh, dwarves, wasn't it? And. Uh, some scary moments there with so, having so used so many rerolls, but the biggest thing was the was the touchback. If that had been a deep kick, it's so many problems for the dwarves. They're so slow; they'd have to defend in numbers to stop the breakthrough. And then, if you if you bring people back, then you let them through for free. If you don't leave people back, then you can get your ball carrier isolated. It's an absolute nightmare for the dwarves that a deep kick like that. So he got so lucky to get the touchback off that. And after that, he, he was a pretty plain sailing, wasn't it? Really, apart from. Apart from the reroll usage, but now Sol's got two rerolls to try a one turn with Juggernaut. Going for the uh, closed back rows. Yeah. Make the dodges as hard as possible. Yeah. No sidestep for uh, for Sol. I, f I would definitely take a sidestep on a gutter personally. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Mm. It's especially weird having the rat ogre and not having the having the jugs rat ogre and not having the sidestep got mm. mm. It's just it's just really good, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, sidestep yeah, is just it is really, really good. Really good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could for the one turn. In, in general, it's not bad. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like I'm not saying he should, but he could use the rat ogre. Not blitz with it and push the dwarf on the right to the right and then to the right, like back into his own half, and then he could chain the gutter to the right hand side of the troll slayer so he doesn't have to do any. You'd have to do like, oh, one yeah, punch. I mean, he should definitely be going with the foot, something like that. Yeah, yeah, he could block the left hand long beard right and then blitz into the runner. Yeah, at the moment, this is really easy. Yeah. But if he blitzes into the runner, doesn't he need to do the dodges through the back screen? Whereas if he does the beard on the right, he doesn't even need to do the dodges through the back screen. But he can chain the runner into the beard, right? Ah. He might yeah. even be able to just chain all the way through yes. if he's got the players. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Like yeah. He can just literally fill those squares next to the guard blitzer and the, and the beard. Put the gut runner below. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Holy moly! Oh, ex well, I, I was I was thinking he had sidestep. <laughs> <For> <laughs> I was, no, I was playing this with sidestep because we've just been talking about sidestep. So it, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Uh, really no, easy sidestep. Side this one turn is yeah, really easy yeah. sidestep. Yeah. Also, really, really easy if he had sprint as well. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know he right. He doesn't need it now. Yeah. <laughs> 
But he's, he's done alright on the one turn, so, but, uh, you know, so we'll see if he figures this out. It looks like he's going for this, yeah, it looks like he's going for the hit on the yeah. runner, I think. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's, he's not chaining the beard, so he's chaining yeah. the runner, and then he's obviously going to push the gutter forward. I guess he can still get this out, yeah, 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 this is fine, this is fine. Yeah. 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 It's fine, it's just a question of whether you could go one further to the right and avoid the dodge, but you probably don't even... Well, it's 4 plus dodge, isn't it, if you're not careful? It's either 2 plus or 4 plus, right? Yeah. Like, you'd really yeah, like to avoid so the 4 plus. Here, like, the 4 yeah, plus dodge is yeah. worse than looking for a push, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, we'd rather do an extra push to avoid the dodge. So, we're looking at this block here. Ch blitz the uh, push to there for the first one, push to there for the second one. Fill these two, and then this guy pushes there. So it's pretty easy to get. Honestly, it's kind of pretty easy to get them pushed to there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the one in nine doesn't completely screw you because you've got the follow-up block as well. Yeah, so you can fill these two in first, like for yeah. free, right? You can freely fill these two in. Get Already the transfer the as well. Yeah. What well, you're we'll gonna do? With... Free plus, free plus hand off. Oh wait, no. So you could actually, uh, you could actually do the one. You could do the blitz, right? Um... Mm. After all this, it's going to be a perfect defense. Isn't it? So, yeah, so oh, you can't use your time oh. bank on the setup. Yes, you oh, can. They changed it. Yeah. Oh right. So you just... oh, he just caught God. the he caught the kickoff. Well, like I said, do the transfer first. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> did, did someone get sent off? Oh no, he just stunned the beard. Oh, he stunned the first. That is, that is I'm not sure I've ever insane. seen that. No, I'm not sure I've ever seen that. That is insane. We saw your one in in the playoffs where like the guy that you know the guy who was gonna block caught it, didn't he? <laughs> and you had to do like a crazy oh, play yes. to chain him yeah. so that you oh, could yeah, get yeah, it to yeah. him. Yeah, I've, but... seen, I've seen that several times, but yeah, I'm not sure I've ever seen the guy who's doing the one to catch the ball. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, this is it's super two, easy. It's two into two though, isn't it? And he's got he's got the gutters to fill to fill these two squares. He can fill these two squares yeah. instantly. Oh no! I think he's he's not doing the. Uh, oh, now is he going to do? Is he going to push then? this one into here? Maybe. So he can power. No, 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 no. Oh, but no, wait, that doesn't that doesn't work. No, that doesn't it? work. Oh, no, no, this no. guy should have been here. And this, he should have moved this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to push him into GFI. the rack, right? Yeah, that's there you go. Oh, his power, he's got to re-roll, hasn't he? No, he doesn't have to re-roll. No, he doesn't have to, he, but... He has to do the 4-3. Oh, wait, he that was... Wait, he did, he did re-roll it. Oh, wait, did he? Did he? What? He did, what? he re-rolled it. Yeah, he re-rolled it oh. and then got another... And then got a push, yeah. But the problem is... Oh, he can block from this he direction. Should... Yeah, but he's he's got a... He should have filled first, though, right? Like... Yeah, yeah, he's got, he's got a dodge, though. Yeah, he's got a dodge now, as he didn't he didn't have to before. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so it's just a 2 plus with a re-roll. Well, like that tackle guy could have, yeah, you know, the tackle guy could have moved where he couldn't. Yeah, yeah, he, he could. Th this guy didn't do anything, so he, he could have just had it already. Yeah, but um... but yeah, oh, so he, he did he get? A, oh no, he had the leader right. He had the, I wonder where the second wheel came from. He had the leader right. Yeah, because if you're on one wheel, you're definitely not rolling that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You well, no, you definitely not. Even on two, maybe you're not. I don't know. I don't it's know. having a four plus dodge. It is. So well, yeah, but it's a four plus anyway to oh, get yeah, four yeah, plus yeah. to even get the reroll, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, true. Is this a three D? It is. Gets the push. Ooh. But does the push? Oh, does he get a? No, yeah, I can't get another one, can he? Uh, no, because uh, no, could be, this could have been filled. This is the thing, right? If this yeah, guy had gone there, that could have uh, been filled, uh, and then he could. This guy could have come around oh, here, yeah, and yeah, he could have blocked him there and got him totally free. Oh, he can block that. Oh wait, he does about that. I was thinking he can block the dwarf, but. Yeah, and he gets well. the dodge in the GFI anyway, so yeah. yeah. Wow, so not perfect, but good enough. <laughs> yeah, well yeah. Done. pretty good, pretty good. Well done, Sol. And yep, now he's looking on his way out, potentially. Very much so, yeah. This is really bad, isn't it? 1-1 mm -hmm. with uh, the rats receiving, about to Daka, probably. Uh, All 11 rats. They yeah. won't be a Daka, surely. Sol loves a Daka, honestly. So. Does he? Yeah. I thought he didn't like Dakas. No, he does. He likes it. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm pre I could be completely wrong, but I think he loves he Deckards. He Deckard against, he Deckard against the Art, didn't he? And then lost. Yeah, he did, yeah. And so then... That's why he hates Deckards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't prove anything. He could hate it because he lost. <laughs> he didn't Dakar against Olivier. 
Yeah, it's other backs though, innit? You can't really duck against and then, Yeah. Who else has he played against? He didn't duck her against Cruz. Oh no, he, he kind of... Did he dallied against Cruz? It wasn't really a duck mm. Yeah, he didn't duck I wouldn't call it a duck against Cruz. But he held the ball back for a bit too long. Mm. 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 <coughs> It'll be interesting. I like the Chevrons. Big fan. Mm. Depending on the uh, depending on the the results of uh, the result of Art versus Cruz, this is uh, very interesting for me and Diamond, right? Because uh, this could be who the second place. Well, both of you want to play against the Dwarves, don't you? <laughs> um, well, so and the humans, oh, right? Cruz, oh, Cruz is in. You, yeah. Cruz is in. So we'd really like we'd really like dwarves. Uh, we'd really like dwarves and humans, and really wouldn't like Andy Devil with orcs. <laughs> Can you imagine three orcs out of the last yeah. four? Yeah, so we'd we'd really we'd really like either dwarves or humans, both of us. Um, so yeah, it's super interesting. Super interesting. Obviously, you know, look, Cruz is a great player. Andy Davis is a great player. Who is a great player? You know, it's not a mark on the coaches, but racial matchups are definitely a thing, aren't they? Uh, you can't, you can't. Can't deny that, but yeah, maybe not that big a deal, right? Maybe we put too much of an emphasis on it, and you know, it's like even as it's, you know, I always think of my uh, game versus PC, you know, when he had like it's PC with dwarves, with a big TV advantage, and I had Amazons, and I still thought I was like, you know, had a good like thirty percent to win or whatever. Maybe, maybe I was delusional, maybe, but even then, like, still like twenty percent or something, right? It wasn't, it wasn't, comp you know, it wasn't anywhere near close to like an automatic loss. So anything can happen still, but yeah, you, no, I got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> he diced the pants off me, like, but you oh, know, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't need to dice the pants off me, but he did. I needed to dice the pants off him, and I got diced. Um, which you know that feels bad, doesn't it? But you know, I mean, I wouldn't have beaten him with normal dice. I, I had to dice him <laughs> to beat him. I wonder if. Uh... How far Soul plays on tabletop? Yeah, he just seemed pretty tabletop pissed, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, like, I I think I'd be going to. We need to get a move on. We need to get a move on. <laughs> um, what you can do is, uh, Dionysus, you can <clears throat> you can look at the BBSL tables. Um, uh, there, you click on. Yeah. I've put it on, but let like, me you know for the YouTubes maybe. Uh, Maybe we shouldn't mention the results in case people are watching this Before this group juice. first. You know, like people high kick, watching. high kick. It's only for oh my god, the rat is It's a daka. It is a daka. Yep. Oh. <laughs> he didn't catch it. Wow. Comedy mega. Comedy mega. Yeah. So this what the only one that I haven't updated is is uh, Cruz versus Art because we didn't do that one. You know, we haven't covered that, so I haven't updated that result. Um, but Why don't we put the Rogar on one side? Because then it kind of makes it obvious which side he wants to go up. Uh, Elliot does that, doesn't he, when he puts his trio on one, on one side? Yeah, but that's a fucking tree and not a <laughs> shithead right over there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I, think, I think it's okay because, you know, like, in the, even if they overcommit to that side, then, then it just gives you an easier way the other way, so it's... Maybe he's going to stand the Rogar in the corner and uh, put the cover behind it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> that, was yeah, really that was peak fumble honestly <laughs> I love that <laughs> that was a good game well it's going to be a quick half yeah that's a good that's the best thing about the Dakar isn't it it just <laughs> makes the games faster he's got at least three turns to burn here mm -hmm. quite good against the Dwarves as well because they're so slow yeah maybe you should and they're not they're not high strength defense. either yeah so, uh... Yeah, you can't make like a big wall. Now the thing is, Sol doesn't have any guard, so Sol can't like you know apply a guard <laughs> to break through in a specific point. But he can still apply a roger to break through, can't he? So yeah, this is tricky for Hiru for sure. Why has he not moved them up full pace? Hmm. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know about this. I guess he's leaving the middle weak to try and bait him to go through the middle because it's the only place he's got a chance of catching him. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're seeing? <laughs> <laughs> he's 
come through the middle because if you go down one side, I've lost half my team. <laughs> yep. And Sol's like, well, my rattle is on the left. <laughs> which way I'm going to go. Yeah. But this is the thing, if, if, he, if he puts like, you know, say six on the left and five on the right, then he can just switch to the right with everybody else, can't he? And oh he my can't God, catch he's not him. Gonna, so. He's not going to press, he's just going to sit on the halfway line. No, he's, he's pressing with the others. So where's the troll slayer gone there? Deep safety, isn't it? Is it? He can reach either side with a double GFI, so... Oh my God. <laughs> Fastest dwarf. <laughs> Is he is he benched the runner again? Yeah, he has. Yeah, I, yeah, I would have, I would have played the runner for more speed. I think it's tough though, right? Because you want the tackle as well. Yeah, it is tackle, a tough. Yeah. It's a tough shout. Oh, I guess with the troll slam and then a blitz on either side, then he can reach both sidelines, and he's leaving the middle open, which is like I say, his best chance for to catch him. So it's not it's not particularly open. well. It's okay. It's a blitz, then it's two pluses through, but then he hasn't got. He hasn't got enough to get. Like he's not deep enough, is he? Another turn here, another turn of waiting for Sol. I think. Oh, I Just end the know. turn. Instant end turn here. Nah, he get based up. He needs to at least spread out a bit, like do the two square gaps. You could have like a little screen in front of the rest of the team. We'll see what he does. In ten minutes. <laughs> he's going for a blitz. A blitz. Oh. Oh no, Roger Blitz maybe. With two assists, maybe it's a Roger Blitz. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Juggernaut. Jesus. <laughs> See. Oh dear. Oh my god. The problem with this two plus is it is a two plus without tackle, right? This is why this is why I was looking at it. But the problem is it's like it's just kind of too far, isn't it? I think it's a bit too far to get everybody through. Uh, it's it's It'd be like a bunch of GFIs. He's got four rerolls. He could make like a lot of GFIs and get everybody through. But you know, if if this was just like one turn later, um, or if his team was like you know, if his team was two squares closer, this would be the perfect play, and then just two plus everyone through. His Ratoga has been trashed here. Yeah, every game. Every game, it's been so bad, this Rattle. So incredibly oh bad. Oh my god! Worst player of the tournament. <laughs> it, he's going through. He's going to do all these two pluses through tackle. <laughs> no tackle. There's no tackle through here. This is the thing. Is it? No, there's a long beard, isn't there? It's the run, on, on runner the and a blitzer. Runner and a blitzer. Oh my god, it's a runner. Mm, so if he was just a bit closer, if he was like two squares closer with everybody, this would have been great. But um, he's not, so it's like he's a million GFIs now. It's a million GFIs, he couldn't really do it. His time bank's not going down. Oh no, because it's still in the... Oh, he's yeah, not no, going it's... through. No, it was, it was just, I think he was two squares too short. Okay, this one's going through. Yeah, at least get somebody through. Yeah, Is he, he's going to... Well, I guess he can't surf the lead now. I mean, you just you have to blitz the stripper. Yeah, yeah. Like there's no, there's, there's no option. You just have to blitz the stripper. And then, somehow, swipe the roger. And you can blitz the stripper into like tackle hits as well. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nope. Wrestled. Get wrestled, sunshine. Mm. Mm. Rerolls it. Gets the full power with mighty blow. That's a really spicy reroll. Mm. Getting wrestled really fucking sucks, doesn't it? So, mm. It does. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, do you foul him? But then I guess you don't. But you can't leave him. Wrestles honestly ball. like pretty sick a lot of the time, oh. isn't it? <sighs> A shit turn of dice for Hiru. He, he correctly identified that tackle piece as a huge problem in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> failed, failed to remove him. <laughs> this rogue is a, a fair old problem right now, isn't he? This is this is looking uh, really rough. 
for the dwarves or the rats? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. He could double oh. surf, couldn't he? <laughs> He could just go on flipping score, you know. Yeah, he could, yeah. He, no, he, I, the rats okay. are gone here, right? Yes, I yeah, yeah, yeah like they're, they're pretty close to gone. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is. They're looking pretty gone here. I don't see he's how he's going to. I mean, skull. yeah, Raul no. the double score is his main. Is yeah. His main hope here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even only hope. Yes. Yeah, because otherwise he just frees the rogue, blitzes the troll slayer oh. of the rogue. Oh, oh. was his run out? Oh my god. Oh. Had to reroll. He had to, yeah. Otherwise it's done. That's I mean, it's, stun. it's still kind of done. I didn't know. Oh, the 1D power! Ooh, okay. It doesn't completely save it, but it sure helps no. a lot. Yeah. Only cost him two rerolls. And the two stuns, I mean, he's got the two stuns and that, that's, that's, yes, that's well. helped him a lot. That has helped him a lot, honestly. I don't know, because the <coughs> the Rattoga just blitz, uh, blocks north, right, through the run. Oh my god, he's right. Oh my god, he needed that as well, that's facing two players. And then, and then you just blitz through the troll slayer, right? And then you can get... Uh, how many guys can you get through? I mean, you can't blitz through the... You'd have to dodge past the Troll Slayer. Well, no, like... Well, it depends what the Rattoga does. So, if it pushes into power, that's perfect. If it pushes... If it powers first, it's not great. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. If you push, then power. Yeah, then you can blitz through him, yeah. But even then, like, you, you, your movement isn't high enough to clear everything. So, it's it's not that good. The two... With the two stuns... And then that 1D yeah. power has really helped things. If he'd made this GFI, that would be massive, but he just couldn't use his last reroll on it, could he? Well, I mean, he could have done. Maybe he should have done, right? That's the thing, you know, you, you really don't want to use your last reroll on that, but maybe it was correct. It just doesn't doesn't feel like it's correct, does it? I think I would stand up that clam rat on the floor and put him in next to the guard blitzer in the middle and then try and block with the roger. And if the roger bites, I'd bite him instead of the free one buff. And oh, then... Okay. And then, if I get the push power, then I'm going through, and if not, then I just back and chill. Mm. Well, he's just switched over here, yeah. Honestly, I think he just about rolled well enough there at the end. <laughs> it cost him two re-rolls, <laughs> but uh, he just about got the dice to save. I guess this is yeah, much safer and probably better. Yeah, it was just a bit too far again. Like well, he, he, gets, was... he gets to punch the troll slayer now as well, doesn't he? If if the ball was here, so he would have just fully run through, I think he would have gone for it, but it was just it's just a bit too deep. Oh he doesn't punch the troll slayer. He can still punch it, right? This guy can, can Oh yeah, he's got go I, I kinda like starting that back door, but I guess there's no one fast enough to get through there anymore. <laughs> and they're dwarves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the shithead dwarves, they just can't they can't even get make it. I wonder if he even bothers activating the Roger now. Maybe just leave him. He's kind of doing a better job there than he is hitting anything. Yeah. Gets the pow huge. Yage. The annoying thing is he has to face it or not. Yeah, I don't think you do activate the troll, the rattle because it gives you this. No, I don't to, think so. Yeah, you don't exactly. want him surfed. Yeah, like a too easy <laughs> one and nine and and fuck up. Oh my god, he does the one D before the dodge. Do not like the one D before the dodge, to be honest. But oh, he burnt the one in nine. Way, way, genius play from. Oh my god, he makes the rattle block before. Oh, that's outrageous. Yeah. Now, because he's just freed that dwarf, though. One, yeah, two, he has freed three, a dwarf. Four, five, six. But he's KO'd a dwarf, so that makes up for it, doesn't it? Oh, the apple comes in. Uh, so you can blitz the gutter run at one, two. Oh my god, and then he makes the 4 3. Outrageous. Yeah. Oh my god, he's got no rerolls either. Yeah, this is done. This is done, I think. Well, there's a few turns left, but. Yeah. It's, it's, I think, yeah, it's certainly it's bad for Hero, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, at least the ball is near 
Saul's end zone, right? So yes. like, yeah. this yeah. guy literally yeah, I mean, could have just gone for GFI, GFI hit him, right? Like that was a possibility. One, two, three, only four. takes the snake in the wrong place, right? And all of a sudden, I mean, yeah. to be fair, it's looking happy. Yeah, maybe the four plus five plus. <laughs> is the no, one. no, no. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> No. You don't think it is, but it actually could be. <laughs> no, on, no, 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 no. Is there, is there a chain here? Look, Bow Supercomputer so. says that no. is not the play. <laughs> he, need, he needs to fill that square there. And he can't. Is there a oh, rat? What, what, what is, what's in front of the rat ogre? Is there anything in front of the rat ogre? Oh, between? No, okay. No. There is a way. There is a. Oh, he's already. Oh, no, he stood him up. He was on the floor. So. <laughs> I hate that when they stand up, the circle's still white until they're yeah, the end of yeah. Oh my god. Why is so there not an active player circle? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, I'm always planning things, like, and then I'm like, oh, hold on, no, he's just... Yeah, I'm the same. You look at the ball and you're like, oh shit, he can, he can, ch he can chain a hit on my ball. Oh wait, never mind, he just stood him up. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> god, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. Ooh, maybe he should have done him first, I don't know. It'd be quite funny if they did the same thing they did on tabletop and just turned the players facing around the other way when they'd activated. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is the turn for Sol, isn't it now? This is Rat's gone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Eat my dust. Blitz move, 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 move. Double twos for him, and he's got like a four-man kit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So then he's got he's got full screen and he's gone. Yeah. That'll do. Well, I bet Andy's breathing a sigh of relief after his uh, his appalling dicing versus Olivier, because <laughs> he was on the brink of not qualifying after that. But uh, yep, this is looking really bad for Hiru right now. Well, I'd have definitely put him uh, like one further out and just like screened. Do you know who you will be playing if this ends in a sole win? Um, then it will be. Don't say it because obviously for whatever reason. <laughs> no, yeah. So, know? so well, so if Hiru, if Wins. Hiru loses, if Hiru loses, yeah. then it's between Andy Davo and Cruz. So then it comes down to Cruz's last game, so... But do you know the result of that game? Well, I know the result, yes, but but we haven't... So you do know it. who yeah, you yeah. would be playing? Okay, yeah. that's all I was asking. I, yeah. I don't want to know, because I don't know. I don't know the result of Hero... Uh, uh, Artemis versus Cruz. Yeah, we could do that tonight if you want. It's just a bit late, isn't it? Yeah, I've got work tomorrow. Yeah, we, we'll do it tomorrow. It's 12. So the next stage is just the semi-finals. Very simple, Dionysus. It's... Uh, it is the winner of Group A versus the runner-up of Group B, and the winner of Group B versus the runner-up of Group A. So yeah, very very simple. This is just a two-two, isn't it? Here, yeah, one, yeah. two, three, four, so five, six, seven. Yeah, and you get dodge on one of them as well. Well, say this is better. I would have put him there. This is better, isn't it? This is definitely better. That was a really good square. But I think this guy should have been here. Here. Reroll to get the power to free another player who maybe scores here. Well, you might take the block with the right over. So maybe that's why you put him there, so that he could get there, so that works out a lot better, doesn't it? So there you oh, go. Oh, it's double screen, so you can't place it. Yeah, board. double screen, yeah, very clever soul. So that, that, this that I didn't like as good as this is better when this guy gets there, so. There you go, that's why that's why he goes three minutes deep into his time bank, because he's thinking of things like that. <laughs> this is really cool as well, if he moves him out of the way, he can try two three pluses to get the thrower through as well. I love it when you're playing like elves or whatever and you can try these things, that mm. just have big payoffs and like, oh, okay. <laughs> and if it fails, you're not that bothered. <laughs> yeah. Damn me. Oh, yeah, he's cast again. <laughs> he's been so shit. Is that like the first time he's been knocked over and he's cast again? Well, no, he, he no, he knocked himself over already. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. In the 
versa. Yeah, that's true. He's knocked himself over twice. <laughs> he's been absolutely terrible in every single game. Everyone, yeah. Everyone. It's unbelievable. Um, yes, McSwiss. Yeah, yeah. Or team kicks. Yeah, it kind of has to be, right? We're not going to do replays and stuff. So, you know, that the, the more sturdy orc teams, that kind of favours a bit, doesn't it? Oh, you should do it. You should totally do it where you just keep replaying games until you get a winner. <laughs> no. We might make the final best of three. U ultimately, I guess it's up to the people in the final if they want to. I, like, it doesn't say anything in the rules. But, you know, if, if both if both finalists want to make a best of three, I guess we could, right? Again, at a... I can't see any finalists agreeing to that. No, true, true. I mean, whoever's the favourite should agree to it. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point, actually, yeah. So if both people think they're the favourite, mm -hmm. then they both you, agree. Can to you it. imagine three orc mirrors? <coughs> oh. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't agree to it if it was an orc mirror. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of got to do something, right? If he just, if he just, if he doesn't, he just loses. So I think that's. I think that's did, uh... Yeah, I think that's the right decision. As shit as it is, it's do that or just lose. So. Yeah. GG. Yeah. I like it when people do that because you know like, I know it's just like easily objective with the correct player, but it's still surprising how often like people don't roll the dice when they kind of have to, isn't it? But of course this is uh this is top level blood ball, so you know. There you go. Hey, good point for Brio. I had the I had the great idea of like a best of sixteen where everybody uses every team in the game. It would be best of seventeen uh soon, wouldn't it, with Necro? But I mean, the that makes much is, more sense. I don't know. You've got, you've really got you've got really good chances to get a best of winner out, out of sixteen, haven't you? How is that? What? So everyone play? What? So both you and the other guy play every race, but you only play half of them yourself. Yeah. So no. We put, so what we do is right. Let, let's say we have <coughs> let, we draw them at random. Let's say it's dwarves versus skaven. So it'd be my dwarves versus your skaven, and then it'd be your skaven versus my dwarves. Uh... But how is that a best of 17? Isn't that like a best of 30 or whatever? No. 31. No. Because it would be two games for two race races. Yeah, oh, so might, yeah, it'd be even more than that then. No, so how did our number of races work then? Am I dumb? What one race has to play itself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Lizards. Oh, lizards. <laughs> oh god, lizards! Oh no! Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Okay, so there he's two one up, and that is, I mean, that is it anyway. First of all, he did it on turn 16. Time out, Jim, time out. And yeah, and even if he did makes it a draw, it's still not good enough for Hiru, so there you go. Uh, you know, Sol salvages a bit of pride and respect no, there with the win. Wins, uh... Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the win. So Andy there. and Chris were through? They are, yes. In which order, we will have to watch the yes. replay <laughs> to find out. <laughs> and Chris played first. It's just unfortunate that, you know, that it just everybody played tonight. Um, it would have been good to have had it in orders that, you know, because they this wasn't at the same time, unlike myself and Strider and Diamed. Well, myself and Diamed and Strider and Moomin Slayer, these weren't done simultaneously. So, Hiru absolutely knew. Well, Chris knew the result of the Dave all game. And Hiro knew the result of both games. Um, so there you go. Yeah, he didn't even play last turn. No need. Uh, yeah, this still goes that like this on the live games, doesn't it? Annoying. Um, but there you go. Uh, congratulations to Sol. Commiserations to Hiro. Cruz and Andy... Well, Crucifer, I should, should say his real name. <laughs> Full name, not real name. I don't think he's called Christopher. His real name, <laughs> Christopher. Yeah. Good old Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Christopher G. Forty K K. Thank you very much. Ah yes, yeah. of course. Yes, Forty K K is his surname. Christopher is his first name. So yeah, Christopher. Congratulations, Christopher and Andy. Uh, they they do qualify. Heroes gets pipped at the post um, by losing to filthy, disgusting rats. Uh, but congrats to Sol. Thank you so much, Elliot and Dimmy. Very late night. Thank you both mm, for yeah, staying yeah. with us. A great, great night of football. Cheers, guys. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Good luck, guys, in the uh, playoffs. Yeah, glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.